Hey guys, it's Matt. Last week, my friends and I made our queer short film called Scraps. I'm the writer and producer on the project, and we filmed every single day on set behind the scenes. I'm eager to take you along, show you the highs, the lows, and all the magical moments in between. So here is part one of that footage. Enjoy. I've arrived in Montana. It's very woodsy and very nature-filled. I'm really, really excited. Yeah, we're the convo on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. So we are pulling up toward the mansion right now that we are staying at in Montana, where... Oh shit, I'm gonna so, turn it off. It's okay, I'm it's okay. It okay. <laughs> sort of the base of operations. We have Matthew here, one of the producers chauffeuring us, and Peter, who is playing Gus. We're the director's lounge. We're all sharing this together. Ah, I love this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, what's up? So what's your name? My name is Link Wolf. And what are you doing on Scraps? I am the gaffer for Scraps. Love it. What's your name? Oh, my name is Adam. And what are you doing I for am Scraps? I'm a photographer for Scraps. I'm Ryan Ardeen. I'm the director of this film. The director, one of the big creators here. So what are you most excited about for Scraps? Um, this has been almost two years in the making. We're shooting for seven days out in Livingston, Montana here. And it has been a mission to get everyone together. We really like the queer community has rallied behind this project. We've got Colton Underwood as one of our producers. He'll be on set with us. We're shooting on film too, which is amazing, and 16 millimeter, which um, not a lot of people are doing anymore. So I'm excited to like, you know, add that in. And it's the film is set in 2003, so I think that's a great piece to, or, or medium to shoot it on. Um, so yeah, that's like scraps. That. When the looks are on the same page and we don't get like, um, to, especially because there's no script or anything, like we'll kind of be doing that. Hey! Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's good to see you. Yeah. Oh, he's here. Yeah. Yeah. What's, What's up, Chance? I'm a hugger. What up? Yeah. How's it going? Oh, that was a very strong hug. Yeah. Oh, that was a very strong hug. All right, guys, we're all gathered around the dinner table for our first, <laughs> first our first Scraps family dinner, courtesy of Matthew, and we're ready to dig in. Yeah, will you have a moment to sit down? <laughs> Welcome to Montana. I'm so glad that like, we could sit at this table and do it this way. And thank you, Matthew. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Easy, easy. Cheers. 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 So, as normal, I'm always up really early. It's like 4.30 in the morning, and the rest of the house is asleep. But yesterday, we were just so busy grabbing all of the cast and some of the crew from the airport and driving them to and from to this house. So, I didn't really have a moment to myself to really walk around and experience the beautiful nature of Montana. Oh, look at my hair. Um, but this is Mayfly Manor where we're all staying. There's about 10, 11 of us here. It's our main cast and some of our like, leadership crew. And it's just really great to be able to share a house together instead of going to a hotel because we're all like in each other's business. We're able to uh, cook together, talk, spend time, talk about our dreams, our art that we care about, life in general. So I'm really grateful that we're here. And uh, it's a beautiful house too, so I'll be sure to show you around. Okay, I'm just gonna open the door right here and show you a little bit of the house. Here we have our beautiful living room. It's so open, beautiful, lots of natural art from Montana, lots of wildlife, taxidermy, you name it. We have a pantry, we have a laundry room. Here is the beautiful kitchen that we are so lucky to be able to cook in every single night. Everyone gets a special room with a special name. Downstairs, we have a pinball table, pool table, um, some extra space to get ready. And the backyard, we're on 12 acres of property. All the nature around here is so gorgeous. Look at this incredible view behind the house. It's amazing and we're so lucky to be here. I love this one. 
What you guys find? So Audrey Buchanan is a mentor of Ryan, and she yeah. kind of helped us find. Um, oh, thanks, man. Um, oh, here's the pendant for if you want to look at that. Oh. That's so sweet. <laughs> That's so sweet. Well, no, it's like you are the. So we had an artist named Jonathan so Kent Adams from Mississippi. Um, he's like a friend of, well, like our director's mentor. And ooh, yeah. So the goal of this sketchbook was for it to obviously show that that and this is this is Dorian. Oh, wow. This is Dorian. So we, we gave him the empty sketchbook. He read through the script. He really. Um, loved what he read and as like a moment of a sketch came up he would start to draw and um, the notes are just like both to um, Peter and to Gus the character and like you know hopefully when Peter's on set he can like read through it get into that that vibe but um uh, yeah and the, the goal was to like have it be clear that Gus has natural artistic talent but he's not like a seasoned professional of like 30 years he's still an 18 year old drawing so they're not perfect they're not polished and we'll have him kind of finish some stuff up while he's dropping out know, during the scene. But um, yeah. And then oh my that's, God. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> that's so crazy. Yeah, that's wow. Yeah, I like the dress. That's sick. Right? So sick. Go watch Scraps. Does he take his watch off when he's working in the shop, or does he have it on? I do have it on. I kind of want to take that and put little like bits of paint on it and stuff a little bit too. These kind of things. I'm liking this this one. Yeah, maybe. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Feels you look good. beautiful. Thank you. I wouldn't you. do that to the wood shop though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and the looks are on the same page and we don't get like, especially because it's not scripty or anything, like we'll kind of be doing that. Scripty. Do you oh, want yeah. the sleeves to come out on you? Um, I'm not sure if we'll see them because we'll have this <laughs> I'm a great artist. This is good that I didn't give this to me. Ooh, I like that. Right. So this will be for the that diner scene. So Ooh, yes. Yeah. Right? And then so, and this is for the bonfire scene at the end when it kind of gets romantic. Yeah, so this is kind of the final look. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then I, that, that's his painter thing. Yeah, right? Yes. 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 <laughs> And then for like, and then like, there'll be like a kind of a montage happening where, um, where you know, when they're kind of skating together and they're first becoming friends, mm -hmm. and we have like three picked out where basically he kind of starts off with this look, you know, he, he just says like, bye, I'll see you tomorrow, and he's like kind of trying to impress him, kind of, you know, he's wearing a collared shirt, and then he kind of will wear, will wear, um, he has like a, a sweater that will go over this. And then like he'll take it off and reveal uh, this, so he's kind of becoming more comfortable. Mm -hmm. And then when they, on the third day, when he takes them to the wood shop, he's wearing this pink, more warmer, romantic color because you can kind of be like, is there, is there a romance kind of building? So like this, the wardrobe is kind of showing um, a progression of the character. How do you feel about your clothes? The guy looks just like me. Yeah, what a shock. <laughs> so like a lot of the film is like kind of separated into like color schemes. So like some will be more warm and like yellows and inviting. And then some are more blue nighttime scenes, right? Kind of moonlight. And then when we have our diner scene, there'll be really primary bright colors, which will be like a nice kind of shock to the rest of the scenes. So it'll be like bright, fun. We're having a lot of like humor between um, Gus and Bridger. We have Tara come in, she's both like inspiring but also kind of hilarious and, and silly so having those like bright yellows blues whites reds will be really really fun also wow. the overalls oh my god that's so good we, like wait, i showed him he was like wow like right? it's perfect mm -hmm. with the paint too it's like it looks really great it's a whole vibe so p3 players yeah. oh my god no way yeah look that is retro i can even turn it on oh yeah crazy this is going to give you the diegetic like sound that we're going to have on camera Wow. Let me turn up the volume. Oh yeah, it's giving Thrasher. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. It's like, has the earbuds in, like yeah. takes one out, and it's like, that's... Yeah. yeah that's very so good. And then we have a moment in the feature, I'm not sure, I know you finished it, I'm not sure you read the feature yet, but like, there's like a lot of parts where like, they kind of take it out and like, pass the earbuds to listen. Yeah. That's a moment of connection. Yeah, it's like... Uh, uh, an on-screen, on-camera thing. I was doing a car shoot, and they had the mic in there, and I was like, like talking. 
Yeah, and the barn. Fiona, say hi. Thank you for all your amazing work. <laughs> amazing costume right here. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh yeah, I like that. I like when you kind of struggle. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that looks great. Yeah. She's like good at like makeup and, and singing then, uh, and stuff like that. Yeah. If we're doing it over and over again, what's going to help you? If there's something like covering my tailbone, that's what's going to hurt. That helps with that. My trick has been. I love softball and baseball.
house like this is probably like, I'd say like 15 million dollars here. 15! So what did you make for lunch today? We're doing many different types of grilled cheese sandwiches. So some will have cheddar and onions and bell pepper, and some will have um, caramel with onions and like uh, white cheddar and blueberries. Some will have some spicy sriracha on it. Some will have some garlic mustard aioli, and then some tomato soup, crackers on top, and we'll do a fresh salad too. Oh my God. Yeah, just from the bottom of my heart, I'm just thanking you to, to everyone and driving here in Montana, like the most beautiful landscape. I'm so. Yeah. <laughs>